Right, guys, let's have a look at the big picture. What is a group? So in order to have a group, you only need three very basic ingredients. And those ingredients are, firstly, two or more separate legal entities. Here we've got H Limited and S Limited as our two separate legal entities. The second ingredient we, we need is control. In, the, in our example here, we've got H, that H Limited that controls S Limited. Now control is depicted by this 100% shareholding that H Limited has in S Limited. And we are going to be discussing control a lot more a little bit later in the course. So let's just assume that 100% is control, H Limited does control S Limited. The third ingredient is we then need to look at what would be the titles of each of these separate companies in the group context. Now the company that has control is usually the company that is called the parent or the holding company or the investor. And the company that is controlled is the company that is called the subsidiary or the investee. Now, if you get a little bit confused between investor and investee, don't stress about it. I also had to figure it out uh, a little bit before I got used to the terms. Now, because we have all of the ingredients, very basically, we have ourselves a group. So what is a group? Is a group a separate legal entity like H Limited and S Limited? No. So it is definitely not a legal entity. But what it is, is it is a reporting entity. So up until now, you've looked at how to prepare financial statements um, for a single company, for example, H Limited or S Limited, separate, um, separate legal entities. What we're going to be looking at now is looking at how to prepare group financial statements using the same requirements that you've used to prepare H Limited and S Limited being IFRS. Okay, so IFRS says that a group is a separate reporting entity. You have to uh, report separate financial statements on them and you've got to use the requirements of IFRS to prepare these financial statements. Okay, so in terms of this group of ours, we're going to a group is always prepared under the holding company's umbrella. So this group of ours here is going to be called the H Limited Group. Okay, does that make sense? Always under the holding company umbrella, H Limited Group. Now, how do we prepare financial statements? So when you're preparing group financial statements, you've got to consolidate the results of the holding company and the subsidiary. Now, if we think about the word consolidate, and if we use this word in our normal everyday life, it means to bring things together, right? And that's exactly what it means in a group context as well. So it basically means that we're going to bring together the financial statements of H Limited and S Limited, and this is going to create the consolidated set of financial statements. So how, we do, how do we do that? We basically take every single item that's in H Limited and in S Limited on a line-by-line -line basis, and we combine it. So all our liabilities... We take H plus S. All our assets, we take H plus S. All our income, we take H plus S. All our expenses, we take H plus S. Anything that's in other comprehensive income, we take H plus S. And that, in a nutshell, is group or consolidated financial statements.